Hey guys, welcome to Get Tens of Thousands of Facebook Fans, Email Subscriptions and YouTube Subscribers in your personal training business. I'm Jason Grossman and for those who don't know me, just a little bit about myself before we talk about what we're going to go through over the next two hours. Now, I've been in the, in the health and fitness and personal training industry for almost 14 years now and I spent the first 10 years uh, mainly in rental, rental gyms, uh, as a rental trainer in gyms and health clubs and in management and then I made the decision to go out on my own and to do my own thing completely. And the first business was in Perth, Western Australia, and within 18 months built that to seven figures, nine personal trainers, three coaches, three nutritionists, and a team of 16 at head office. And then I went and did something crazy like fell in love with the girl of my dreams, closed up shop, moved over to Brisbane, the other side of the country to be with her, and uh, set up a completely online business. And within nine months built it to seven figures. Uh, now, two years later, um, you know, we've got quantum fitness marketing, uh, four coaches and myself working with personal trainers across the globe to grow their business. And we have quantum online personal training. We've got almost 30 online personal trainers and you know, we work with people online personal training, meal plans, fitness plans. We have a, a, a myriad of different products and services and programs that we work with. And we're getting ready to, to launch uh, our own charity organization, a life coaching business, and also um, getting a, a book published as well. So we've got some really exciting things happening. Uh, tonight I'm going to spend almost two hours with you to share with you uh, my learnings over the last four and a half years. But more specifically, is November last year, Facebook made some serious changes to their algorithm and the way it works. And since then, the online world has been a lot more challenging. And a lot of internet marketers, including myself, had started looking for other options and better ways to make things work without having to spend a lot of money. So tonight I'm sharing with you over the next two hours all the things I've learned over the last uh, three, four months, uh, spending hundreds of hours researching, reading articles and books and buying programs and products and stuff online to, uh, to make this as easy as possible. So I'm going to share with you everything and every, everything and anything I can within two hours. I will say this, you are going to learn a lot and you're going to learn fast. Tonight I'm just going to unload on four main areas. I'm going to unload what I believe to be the most powerful stuff you can do on Facebook to get tens of thousands of followers. I'm going to unload specific strategies on how to do email marketing very effectively. And we've had the opportunity over the last four and a half years to build over 600,000 people on our databases. 600,000 people on our databases. Now you might be thinking, well, that's good, Jason. Oh, that's great. I don't want 600,000. I would like five or 10,000. Heck, maybe I want five or 500 or 1,000. You're in the right place. I've made this as simple and easy as possible for you to follow. Grab a pen and paper. You're going to want to take plenty of notes. We're also going to talk about video marketing and YouTube and also how to cross-pollinate these things using what Facebook loves now, which is blogs and uh, blogs and, and website and how to, how to do all of this for just a couple of hundred dollars. But hands up, who, who's going to stick to the end for the next two hours and to hear how to get tens of thousands of fans, YouTube subscribers and email us in? Who, who, who's serious about sticking to the end? Those that do, I've got a couple of prizes. I'm going to give away a couple of prizes at the end. So those that stick to the end and listen to the end, uh, I'm going to give away a couple of cool prizes. Um, a couple of things before we get started. You might be wondering, well, who is tonight for? You know, you might be thinking, well, you know, I've just started my PT business. Do I really need to know this stuff? I believe you definitely do because online marketing, it's not just about marketing. We're here tonight because you want to help people. You want to help change people's lives by helping them lose weight, give them the gift of health, fitness, help them lose weight, share those newfound values with their family, to live 10 or 20 years longer, and to live a happier, healthier life. And that's what it's really about. So this isn't just about growing a database. If you were to look at it at a deeper level, at a caring, and genuine, uh, in a gen genuine way, it's really about growing a community. Those of you that are listening, I know there's a couple of you guys that run really su successful businesses, you know, with hundreds of members or clients. There's a fair few of you guys listening right now that have that. And the reason why I have that is because you've had the opportunity to create an incredible face-to-face -face live community. Imagine if you could duplicate that success and do that online. So many people spend so much time online now, and it's so quick. You can add value through articles, videos, information, infographics, different e-books and products and services online, reach a larger audience, grow your business, and you can make some money in the meantime. My true passion is helping create happy, healthier lives for people and doing that in a way where it's, it's focused on a large scale. 
It's our mission to help create one million happier, healthier lives in our business right now. That is, that is our mission, and we're well on our way to do that. And when you focus on giving, not getting, that's when you can eliminate the worry and stress about having to pay the bills and how much money you're making. You can just be there for your clients. So my challenge to each and every one of you is to take the community that you've built or on the journey of building face-to-face -face and to do that online. And tonight I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the most powerful strategies for you to create an incredible community online. And we're going to talk about that now. So tonight is, is for personal trainers that, you know, that are just self-employed or rental trainers that, you know, you just want 20 or 30 or 40 sessions of clients. Okay, there's going to be plenty for you this evening because you're not going to do personal training forever. What about in five, ten years? If you can grow your community online when you change your focus or you change what you want to do, you've still got those people in your community there. It's also for people that are running studios or doing outdoor or mobile or boot camp. Same reason. And I know there's some of you guys that are doing online personal training or looking at ways of doing something online. I mean, who would like to make money while you sleep online? Who would like to do something online or, or to have more success with you know, online fitness, nutrition, mindset, etc.? By a show of hands, raising your hands, who would like to do that? Of course, most people. Now again, tonight will be overwhelming. I'm going to unload on you guys, and we're going to go through a heck of a lot in a pretty short period of time. Like I said, I am recording this, so you will have access to a video recording of this, but please do not rely on that. Please take as many notes as you can, and I'm going to deliver it to you in a way that's really pragmatic, linear, and easy to follow, step by step. Okay? I will also post some notes, and I'm going to give you a whole resources. And tonight is really the basics. Some of this stuff you'll know, some you'll do, some will be new to you. But I guarantee that the key online is this. It's not just about doing one or two things. It's about hedging and stacking. And those that know me know that you know, I use that term a fair bit. With marketing, everything works and everything doesn't work because it's like a meal plan or a fitness plan. No one meal plan or fitness plan is good for everyone. So tonight there will be a couple of strategies or a few strategies that really appeal to you. And you're like, yeah, that's a brilliant strategy. I'm going to, I'm going to use that one. And there will be others who are like, oh, I'm not so sure. Some, you know, some will be a bit confused about and not sure how they work, so you might avoid them. I'm going to suggest that you do what we did, and we spent the last three to four months creating everything we've gone through tonight. So we've just spent three or four months with a great team of designers, IT specialists, internet marketers, social media experts, putting together all of our new forums, and, and, and I'm going to share them with you today, all our new websites and how it all works. But hands up, who's ready to get started and get into this, get into the meat, get into the, oh, well, you vegans, I guess you're mushrooms for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready? All right, let's do this. So I want to do this in a linear fashion. So what does that mean? So step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. So what we're going to talk a little bit about is first of all we're going to talk about we're going to start with the very simple basics, which is YouTube. Like I said, tonight's in four categories, YouTube and video marketing, email marketing, blog websites, and then we're going to finish with Facebook. So we're going to go YouTube first, videos, email marketing, um, blog type websites, how to set them up and also Facebook marketing. And I'm going to share my screen and show you a whole heap of cool strategies. The ones that I don't get the time to spend showing you on the screen, I'm going to send you links uh, with some resources and step-by-steps -steps on how to do them and some videos as well. And I'm also going to provide you with different resources along the way. Um, so make sure you take plenty of notes. Okay, I see there's still just three people just jumped on board, so welcome. Okay, so let's do this. So first things first is YouTube. Let's talk a little bit about YouTube. By show of hands, who has a YouTube account? By show of hands. We're going to start with the simple basics here. Now, as we go through this, some of this stuff we go through, you might think, I already do this. I already know this. That's fine. Trust me. Stick with it. Stay with us over the two hours. I guarantee you there's going to be a bunch of strategies that you can use that you don't yet use, haven't heard of, or haven't yet thought of, um, especially once we get to the website and the Facebook stuff, uh, the, the two the two second parts. So, By show of hands, who has a YouTube account? and does videos by show of hands. Awesome. I'm going to suggest that you take some notes, maybe have uh, two pieces of paper or a separate piece of paper for action items. If you can grab a pen and paper and on one piece of paper just write action items at the top and I'm going to suggest action items along the way. I want you to write them down in that list um, just on a pen and paper. That way you can see your screen. You know, Don't worry about a, an Excel spreadsheet or anything like that. If you're sitting there thinking, oh, well, I'll just listen to Jason and I'll watch the recording afterwards. You're right. I don't know what you're doing, but please, if you write them down, by you engaging your neurology and your physiology and writing it down, it's going to ingrain it into your conscious and unconscious. 
and it's going to make it more real. And I know that if you make it more real in your mind, that you're going to also probably action those items. You're going to take action. Why take action? Why take action on these things? Well, each of you have a different reason for being here tonight. You want more clients. You want more leads. You want to make money while you sleep. Many of you, like myself, you know, want to want to use the online world to create what I've already created. My partner, as you know, Kaylee, have had the opportunity to create this business or these businesses online in a way that allows us to live in hotels and travel the world. Um, we're about to, in three and a half weeks, we go, we're going to the US for two months and then Europe for two months, four months non-stop travel overseas, an, an incredible trip. And we have the opportunity to do this because of these strategies. But hands up, who would like to have more freedom, more free time, more flexibility, and who would like to travel more by a show of hands? Regardless of where you're at with your business right now, you're just starting, you're just qualifying, or if you have a quarter of a mil or a half a mil business like I know a few of you guys do, again, there'll be something in here for you tonight. I want you to write down the action items as they go along and take some notes on a separate piece of paper. So make sure you've got two free spare pieces of paper. Okay. I know some of you guys are probably around the stage that I'm at. I know there's a couple of people that are listening right now that are actually doing really well online. You might be thinking, well, I'm here. Let's see what Jason does or whatever. And you might be thinking, you know, a lot of this stuff I already know or I do or whatever. But stick to the end because, I, trust me, a lot of this stuff is uh, is quite simple but very powerful when you use it all together. So I'm sure you're all ready to get started, so let's get into this. So first of all, um, by show of hands, who does not yet have a YouTube channel? Who does not yet have a YouTube channel? For those of you that just raise your hand, please write at the top of your action items. Create a YouTube channel. Really simple. And again, I know some of this basics uh, for you guys already have this. But please stick with us because I need to make this relevant for beginners all the way up to uh, semi-advanced. And it will be something for all of you guys, I promise. Please write number one action item. So one bracket, uh, create YouTube channel. Really simple, youtube.com. Really simple, right? Really easy. Okay, so if you look at YouTube, you can see this is uh, our channel here. Go to my channel. Um, so we actually have a YouTube channel for both Quantum Fitness Marketing and Quantum Online PT. And we have gone to the wrong part here. I uh, actually have I have a personal YouTube channel and I have a YouTube channel for both Quantum Fitness Marketing and Quantum Online Personal Training. Okay. So you want to set up your own YouTube channel. And I'm going to suggest those of you that are serious about online, you want to do a daily video. And we're going to talk about that now. You want to have a daily video. You might be thinking that's a lot of videos, but it only needs to be three to five minutes. We're going to talk about video marketing uh, a bit more in depth over the next 10 or 15 minutes. Before we continue with video marketing, why video marketing? Well, both Bill Gates, Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg, that's Mark Zuckerberg, both said a few years ago they believe the most powerful form of marketing on the planet is internet video marketing. In Australia, I think we're a little bit behind the US uh, guys and uh, even in UK, they, they really utilize a lot of video marketing. Uh, I think we're yet still to, to really jump on that train. Video marketing is the best way for you to connect personally, even better than these webinars, with your followers online. So to grow your online presence, to grow your YouTube, to grow your email marketing, grow your Facebook, yeah, you need to have content. You need to have a reason why people want to follow you. So you can have your promotions, yes, okay, and you can post information, yes, but you want add value, real content that people would like, share, and follow you for. And the most powerful way to do that in a personal manner is obviously videos. Again, this is quite basic, but we need to build the foundation here. If you don't yet have a YouTube channel, you want to create one. And to start with, now those of you that are in the coaching program, there's around there's over 100 of you guys now that are in the coaching program, the one-on-one -on -one and group coaching program. Bo follows up with each of you guys to ensure that you do one video each week. And we actually share that on our websites for you. And we embed that and we're starting that this week. So your action items number one would be to create a YouTube channel. If you've already got a YouTube channel, I want you to write action item one. Or if you don't, action item two. I want you to write next to that, start a daily slash weekly video. I want you to start creating a weekly video. I know what you're thinking. You might think, well, I don't know how to do that, or do I have the confidence, or what should I talk about? We're going to go through that now. We're starting with the most simple. We're going to work towards more in-depth and advanced as we go along. So again, please stick with me. If a lot of you guys already know this stuff. So we're going to create an account. 
And I'm going to suggest that each of you guys make your iPhone, that each of you guys make your iPhone one of the most important pieces of equipment that you use in your personal training business, whether you work in a gym, outdoors, or at your own studio. So you take that iPhone with you and start taking video footage of group training sessions, testimonials, in-action videos, and so forth. So what types of videos can we do? So again, we'll talk about the content, and then we'll talk about how we get the exposure. So there's two parts here, isn't there? There's the add value, the content, and then there's how to get in front of people. In each section we go through this evening, the four of the sections, YouTube, email marketing, blog, slash website, and Facebook, we'll talk about the content, how to create the content, then we'll talk about how to get that content in front of tens of thousands of people and grow our database. That's what the intention of tonight is. Okay, so again, I'm going to make it very linear, and very pragmatic. So about video marketing, one of the most powerful videos you can use. Well, the, the interesting thing about videos is that do people want, would people rather be educated or entertained? Think about it. How much do teachers get paid per year? Now think about it. How much do entertainers, actors, musicians get paid a year? People want to be entertained. So videos that are entertaining are always going to be more powerful and be more viral on Facebook. The main types of videos that you want to be using, I believe, on a regular and daily basis are testimonial videos, in-action videos, and what I call videos, and I'll explain those in a moment. Afterwards on the event, I'm going to post a video on what I believe to be the most effective way to get, uh, to, to have a testimony, to do a testimonial. So your testimonials, you can have before and after photos, which are largely underused. If you can get daily before and after photos, it's, it, there's no more, the only thing that comes close to video marketing, I believe, are those before and after photos. But we can also get video testimonials. Now, you don't need to write this down now. I'll be posting how to do the testimonials in the event afterwards. Also, I'd like to extend an invitation to each and every one of you that aren't yet on the VIP group, to the VIP group. But there's three questions you want to ask when doing a testimonial. My suggestion is to get two or three video testimonials a week from after a PT session, after a boot camp, or after you know an event or something like that. Three questions. One, what do they like most about your service? One, what do they like most about your service? Again, I'll send through a video explaining this afterwards. Two, what results specifically have they achieved? Now, this stuff you probably already know, but are you doing it, right? What results have they specifically achieved? And three, why would they recommend your product or services, rather, to everybody and anybody? And again, this is basic stuff. I can guarantee most of you know this stuff, but how many people do it? You really want daily testimonials written testimonials, video testimonials, and before and afters. We want those on our fan page every day. And I'm actually going to share with you in the Facebook section, the fourth section of tonight, the Facebook planner we use. And we're going to talk about Facebook offers, events, we're going to talk about webinars. So we do have a lot to go through here. Uh, so I'm going to keep moving through this and get to the more, uh, the more, more juicy stuff. So we've got testimonials, videos. We want to be recording one to three video testimonials for 60 seconds to two minutes, three minutes max, and posting them on YouTube, and then sharing them on Facebook. I'm going to show you the best way to share them on Facebook for virality as well. Now, recently, a few weeks ago, I posted a video that had over 40,000 shares, and I'm going to show you uh, show you that this evening. So we have testimonials, we have in-action videos. So every day, we're taking, we're asking clients at the end to do a quick video to talk, a uh, quick video testimonial. We ask the three questions and answer them. Bang. After workouts good, they're sweaty, suggestible, yeah. Next, we have in-action videos. So you're recording them in action, recording you in action. I saw a video today of uh, Lachlan being trained a trainer in bunny ears and different things, stuff like that. It could be an event, uh, also personal training. And then we have vidicals, uh, which actually came about accidentally. Um, I think I was doing a, a webinar in Bali. And a video, a uh, vidicle is just a, a video in article format. Once a week, you want to do a video that is in article format. I would suggest writing this down somewhere to do a video. So you've got your testimonials, your videos, you've got your in-action videos. There may be some entertaining stuff that you're sharing or you're creating, info nights, stuff like that. Maybe you can come up with something comical. But once a week, we want to do a video. Okay, 
So the way we do that is there's four questions you want to ask when doing an article or a vidicle. If you want to write this down. First of all, we have the title, which is a catchy title. So what, what is a video about? So you have a catchy title. How to lose 10 kilos in 10 weeks. How to burn more fat while you're sleeping. The truth about your hormones and why they're keeping you fat. Why eating carbs after eight is bad, and then you dispel the myths. Those myth, but myth buster ones work really, really well. So question one is is the what? We have a catchy headline, and in the video we talk about what you're going to discuss. It's called pre-framing, like I did tonight. This is what we're going to go through. The second question is the why. The second question is the why. Why should they listen to what you have to say? This is where we put the credibility in. The credibility. We put in references, before and afters, social proof, the credibility part, why they should listen to you. The third question is how, how it actually works. So if it's how to burn more fat while you're sleeping, you want to use a simple step-by-step -step process that if they go and use, will actually change their life. Imagine if everything you posted, every video, every blog, every article, every status, every tweet you posted, had information in it that could literally change a person's life if they chose to stick to that how-to information. So how to lose 10 kilos in 10 weeks, step one, step two, step three, step four, is how it works. And then finally, we need to future pace that. The fourth question is what if. What if you choose to action these items now? What results you can expect? What if you don't? You can continue down the path you are. These are the risks. We use the pleasure and pain and the um, you know success and failure. So what we'll do is once a week we want to do a video in the vidical format. What, why, how, what if. Okay, so moving forward. So my strong suggestion for each of you guys is have a YouTube channel, start having a, a daily video between testimonials, in action videos, vidicals and entertainment stuff, motivational stuff people love as well. And every day post them from YouTube and I'm going to show you the best way to post them shortly. So that's really simple with the YouTube, and that's what we're going to focus on for now is the content and how to create the content. Again, I will post notes in the event later. I'll also invite you to our VIP group if you're not already in it, and there's going to be a lot of content in there that you'll be able to use from notes. So YouTube content, I'm going to share with you how to get exposure to your YouTube channel through email marketing, your daily blog and website, and Facebook. So we use that to create the content so we can connect personally online with your followers and with your community. There is no better way to personally connect with your online community than videos. If you're just po posting memes and infographics and promos, you're missing out on a great opportunity. The key to making it online, there's two, two parts. One is to create a community where people can interact and help each other out. Yeah, that's positive, so creating a community. And two is to position yourself as an expert in your field, an expert as a weight loss consultant, an expert as a personal trainer, an expert as a fitness trainer, an expert as a nutritionist. By doing that, what's going to happen is people are going to automatically want to be a part of your community. And when you do offer opportunities for meal plans, fitness plans, products and services, they're going to jump on them. I will say this though, gone are the days where direct marketing on social media works effectively. It's really easy to yell at and just scream at people. So we want to get creative now by using our videos, our articles, our website and our email marketing to offer add value content that people can really use in, in a way that we're not going to scare them off from our community and we're having them drop off our email list or leaving the fan page or so forth. So that's YouTube. So hands up, hands up who's going to actually go out and start doing a daily video now, one of those videos. And if you haven't yet, set up your YouTube channel by show of hands. Who's going, to, who's going to go and do that? Now when you first do that, if you haven't started that, you might, you might be thinking, well, I'm not that confident. I don't know what to talk about. You have enough knowledge to share with people out there to change their life. Don't worry about how well you're going to do or how good your video is or any of that. Just focus on helping people. It's like when you do public speaking. People get nervous about public speaking. It's one of the biggest fears in this world for a lot of people because they, they get scared and nervous about how well they're going to do. 
Forget about how we're going to do. Think about changing lives. Think about adding value and giving them information in a, in a not just an educational way, but an entertaining way that could potentially change their life forever. So we want to be offering that. So that's video marketing. So we've got YouTube. Well, actually, that's just the content. We're going to talk more about video marketing. But we want to create the content first. So create your YouTube account. Start doing daily videos, combination of video testimonials, in-action videos, and vidicles. With your vidicles, your weekly video in article format, the what is it about, why should they follow it, how it works, and future pace, what if they choose to stick to it and use it. If you don't do videos, you're not going to connect effectively and build a report as effectively with your community. And you're not going to have the same trust. You're not going to have that same familiarity. You're not going to have that same connection and rapport with your, with your community. So you want to start doing those daily videos now. Once you've got the data, you need to have those daily videos to make all of this work. All these four sections I'm sharing with you individually as pieces to the jigsaw puzzle. And we're starting with the basic stuff and we'll get to the more in-depth, advanced stuff as we go along. And then I'm going to show you how to bring it all and package it all together. It just took us three months to bring it all together. I'm going to show you that soon. So let's talk about email marketing. So by a show of hands, by a show of hands, who currently uses an email marketing software like MailChimp, iContact, Infusionsoft, one of those? By a show of hands, who, who does that? A couple of people. <laughs> no one. Well, thank you everyone that's contributing and still listening to me. I hope I'm not that boring. I know the YouTube stuff's pretty simple and basic, but you need to have it up and running. If you want to be successful online, you've got to have those videos. It's really that simple. You're going to find it very, very difficult to be successful online in this industry without those videos. So we need to set up email marketing. Now, with Facebook, the problem now with your fan pages is that when you set up your fan pages and you post, have you noticed, especially since November, and especially even more so over the last few months, that not a lot of people are seeing your posts. If we look at one of our fan pages, some of you might have seen the 7 Day Raw Detox fan page. This is our 7 Day Raw Detox page here. I'm going to use this as an example. Now the 7 Day Raw Detox page has 184,000 real people. They're not bought likes. We paid a lot of money on for advertising to get those likes. I'm going to talk about that shortly. We've got 184,000 likes, only 7,000 people talking about the section. This has gone down by well, two-thirds since November. If we scroll down and we look at these posts, every time we're posting, look how many people are seeing some of these posts. 170 people on this post. 379 on this post. 377. Now, that's not a lot of people for the amount of people that are genuine, real people that, apparently, that like the fan page. If you scroll down, you'll see some of them, um, you know, some of the posts get thousands and so forth, um, 800, 1,200, and you'll see some of the big ones will get 20, 30,000. 30, and I'm going to share with you how to overcome that. The reason why email marketing has become so, more, so much more important, the reason why that's become so much more important, especially this year, is because now with your fan page, you know, some of you guys put money into your fan page, you're going tens or hundreds of thousands or whatever it is, maybe a few hundred. And you're posting, 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 and not a lot of people are liking, commenting, and sharing. Because now only 2 to 5% of your fans will see each post, which is dismal. Facebook want you to pay for it. So tonight is about how to work around that. And that's what tonight is. So if you stick with the end, we're going to go through it all, and I'm going to share with you um, how to get around that. It's absolutely critical that we have our content first. We want articles slash blogs and videos, and plenty of that. And I'm going to talk about how to do those soon. We just spoke about the videos, obviously. We want to grow our email list, I'm going to say assertively, not aggressively, because we know that when we send people an email, that unlike a fan page, which 2 to 5% of your fans will see, that around 50 to 70% of your email list will see it. You know, Some of those emails might get a junk. Some people might open, not open it, might not see it. But a lot more people are going to see it. Now, obviously, with email, an email list is not technically a community because a community is a platform, face-to-face -face or online, that allows the people that are part of it to interact with each other. So 
unlike Facebook, an email list is not a community. However, the benefits of an email list is that you can directly get to their doorstep via email. And you know that 50 to 70 percent of people, this is an actual stat, that 50 to 70 percent of people you send an email to with an up, uh, updated uh, email address will get, will see, um, will see that email. Now, not all those will open that email, and that's why your subject, your heading must be catchy as well. So what you want to do is, for those of you that don't yet have email software and you're just sending, if you're sending from Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, you, do, you want to stop doing that because you can't send newsletters, it's not really professional. Now what we suggest is we suggest using iContact, iContact.com. So if you're not yet using email marketing, again, for some of you I know this is very basic, please stick with us. Um, especially the Facebook stuff you're going to love, trust me. And when we get to the blog stuff too, I'm going to break down a blog and how to do a blog and, and a website even if you know you have one and how to get one really affordable. So you want to set up eye contact. And if you have less than um, 50,000 email, uh, emails on your list, eye contact's the way to go. Once you've got 50,000 plus, if that is you, we use something called infusionsoft.com, which is actually the same email marketing Tony Robbins and, and many of those guys use as well. Um, took us about four months to set it up properly. I think it's still being set up, uh, but it is a brilliant platform. But if you're just starting out, if you've got less than say 10 or 20,000 or definitely under 50,000, start with iContact.com, iContact.com. If you don't yet have software set up and you're using Outlook, Gmail, Hotmail, anything like that, please write down in your action items page, set up iContact.com. And what you're going to do with iContact is you're going to set up a list called Ultimate Database, Ultimate Database. Again, I'm taking through a step-by-step -step entire process here. Some of you might be further along. You want to set up eye contact, you want to set up an ultimate database. Now you can get a free one month trial for those of you who don't have a lot of money. And then it's only $15 a month for up to a thousand people in your email. Now if I quickly log in to show you guys this in eye contact here, I'm just going to log into mine and quickly show you to share. And again, for you guys that have already done all this stuff, thanks so much for sticking with me. We will get to the cool fun stuff for you guys soon, the juicy the juicy stuff soon. And I need to make this relevant for, uh, there's people listening now that are just starting, they're just qualified, there's people listening that have businesses turning over five, six hundred thousand listening. So. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to um, your home page here and you can just create a list, you can click on here, create a list and you're going to call it Ultimate Database. And then what you can do, so write down your action items, download iContact.com and then under that in your action items, you might be up to three or four, Create a list called Ultimate Database. If you have any questions with this stuff, let me know. But what you do is you can just create a list on your homepage. When you send an email, you can click on email here. Okay, and we're going to we're going to break down email marketing in a second. We can create a message here. I can create a text only message here, or I can click on the message builder here. Now I know some of you guys for uh, online personal trainers are just starting to use this, so this might be useful. Click on the message builder here, and it will take you to hundreds of newsletter templates. By show of hands, who's sending a monthly regular newsletter? By show of hands, who's sending a monthly regular newsletter? A few people, great. They might be thinking, well, I've only got 50 or 100 people on my list. This is what you want to do. You want to create an ultimate database. So what each and every one of you are going to do, no matter what level you're at, is you're going to consolidate on a spreadsheet every email address you've ever come into contact with. If you've been in the industry five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, you're going to find all of your prior queues or pre questionnaires, and you're going to extrapolate the email addresses from those and put them into a spreadsheet. You're going to get all the email addresses from your Outlook, Gmail, Hotmail, whatever account you use, and you're going to put them in there. You're going to get every email address from every client, ex-client, prospect, your friends and family, you're going to put them in the spreadsheet. Then you can copy and paste them. Okay, then you can copy and paste them. So I can keep, click on contacts up here, and it's this is how easy it is. I can click on copy and paste here, and I can actually copy and paste all those emails into that list, and it will automatically add them to my ultimate database. I'm going to update that on a regular basis. I'm going to show you. We're going to talk a little bit about autoresponders soon, and how to automate the growth of your email list using your blog, and also Facebook as well. Again, we use all these platforms together. We cross pollinate them. We've got to start with the basics to create the foundation. So if you're using another platform, that's fine. Um, but that's what you want to do. You want to copy and paste that. So 
on your action items, I want each of you guys to add do monthly newsletter. Every month, do monthly newsletter. You can use eye contact to do that. They have brilliant newsletter templates in there. Then what we're going to need to do is additional to that. Actually, before we do, you might be thinking, well, what do I add? What do I include in my newsletter? It seems pretty logical, but maybe you have some ideas. Well, it's really simple. Client of the month, happy birthdays, welcome new clients, events coming up, promotions happening, special offers, put in there some content, so a couple of videos, articles, information like that. And that's a good, that's a good amount of, of meaty information to get you started on that monthly newsletter. Why do a monthly newsletter? Why, why would you do that? Well, if you're working with us, we use almost 30 face-to-face -face strategies and then all these online strategies to generate 30 to 50 plus leads a week as a starting business. And if you're doing that, you're going to grow your database really quickly. If we're sending a lot of ad value content information out, we're going to keep people on our lists, YouTube, Facebook, and email lists. And guess what's going to happen after one, two, three, four, five, six months? You keep adding value, you establish yourself as a position as an expert, videos, articles, events. One morning when they wake up and they're not happy with what they see in the mirror, guess who they're going to contact? And that's how on online business, that's where most of your business comes from. Today we had um, a handful of personal trainers contacting us uh, wanting coaching. And most of these people have been following us three, four, five, six months, four months, two years. And those that have known me for a while, I know a couple of you guys have known me for a while, um, Every day for the last four and a half years, essentially, we have been sending out, yes, we do a lot of promos and blasts and stuff like that, but we also add a ridiculous amount of value. So many free eBooks and regular webinars and videos and articles, and there's so much content that we offer. Now, I know not everyone's going to read all of it, but there's going to be something for everyone. And that's, and that's now how, you know, this business now, two years old, that, um, you know, we've got, with, if you look at our coaching business, uh, we've almost got two full group, uh, groups coaching uh, sessions. And uh, we have four coaches, um, one full, I'm completely full, and the other three well on their way, and 100 person trainers in, in, in the full program, uh, which is pretty exciting. We get people coming to us on a regular basis, a lot of referrals and word of mouth. So same with your PT business, how it works. That's why all this stuff is really important. If you're thinking, well, I don't need to spend two or three hours on a, on a newsletter. It's not that important. You're really missing out on a great opportunity. So first of all, we want to we wanna set up our email. Okay, you don't have to use eye contact, but it's a resource that I'm offering to go through this process. Again, this stuff is very basic. We're still setting the foundation. So we want to update the ultimate database, add all the email addresses from everyone, anyone, we've consolidated. We're going to start sending a monthly newsletter. And please write this in your action items, everyone. Three emails a week. Yes, three emails a week. My suggestion is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now those emails are going to make no mention of any promo, specials, sales, or marketing in any way, shape, or form. Well, not directly anyway. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, well, that's great, great, Jason. But what what do we send out in our email? What what do we send? Well, my suggestion would be real content that if people choose to use, could change their life. So articles and videos are the way to go. So videos from your YouTube embedded in your website, which we'll talk about soon, and articles from your blog directly on your website. So you actually want to use those emails to send people to your website where people can purchase products, services, and so forth. You're sending out information to your email list, so you've already got them on the email list. So your intention for sending emails is to add value and to make sales. Yeah. So whenever we run email, there's two parts to this. You can write this down. Whenever you send an email, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you might be thinking, that's too much, that's so much. It really isn't, and the bigger your list gets, the more you can you can send out emails. I think daily is a bit much, and we'll talk about promo soon. But there's two parts to an email. Those that came to my live event, you heard me talk about this. The first part is add value. You want add value information in your email. It should make up the main part of your email. An article, a video, a motivational poem, quote, a congratulations to a client, something like that. It might just be, it might, it might be some sort of um, warm and fuzzy that puts a smile on the person's face. The second part of an email is an opportunity, an opportunity for them to find out more about your products, services, what you have to offer. So I, it's, a lot of you notice I, I like to use the PS strategy. Uh, yeah. Here's an article on how to uh, lose 10 kilos in 10 weeks. Uh, PS, have you, have you yet registered for our upcoming open week or our upcoming info night or whatever, you, whatever it is? 
PS, um, how do you, um, or PS, we use the first five strategy, we're going to talk about certain soon. First five people to reply to this email with your phone number and name will receive two free PT sessions. There's five leads for you. So ask yourself, how can you get leads or sales from that email? But make sure you're, the primary focus of your email is to add quality uh, value, to add value rather to your email list. That is the primary focus. So you will lose a lot of people on your email list. I've had a great opportunity to build a, 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 a quite a large email list for personal trainers uh, from over 20 countries, which is which is really cool. Now, in addition to that, if you're doing events or you're offering different promotions, you can send out uh, an individual blast for that. And again, this is simple stuff. So by now, we should be doing daily videos and updating them to our YouTube. Three emails a week and one newsletter a month. Now, you might be thinking, that sounds like a lot of work, a bit of work. But imagine if you're constantly growing your list, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200, 3, 4, 500 a week, and you're constantly adding value to them through events, ebooks, articles, videos, you never have to kind of worry about sales. You're never going to have to worry about getting clients. It'll grow very quickly. Um, there's only a handful of people in, in this industry, in this country, which have done very well online. And I guarantee that most of them, or not all of them, will use all of this stuff uh, to some degree. So you might be thinking it's a lot of work. Well, guess what? You can get a virtual assistant, which we're going to talk about soon. Virtual assistant. Seven or eight dollars an hour, maybe even less, depending on which virtual assistant you get. And you can get your newsletter and your emails and all that kind of stuff done for you. Prospecting done for you. So now that we've got the YouTube and the email out of the way, let's get to the juicy stuff. I want to talk to you about blogs. Over the last three months, you would have noticed on Facebook, hands up who sees a heck of a lot of blog posts, article posts in, on blog websites. Hands up who sees a lot of those. A lot, right? Facebook now, with their new algorithm, they believe that the news feed is called a news feed because people want the latest news. They want to be kept up to date with the latest news. So Facebook loves blogs. Facebook absolutely loves blogs and loves videos. So articles in the blog format and videos are the hottest pieces of content you can post on Facebook. So again, we're setting up all the platforms here and using social media uh, as a great way. Facebook is a great way to, uh, to penetrate our market as well. So we recently created this, this website here called Quantum Online Personal Training. This is a blog type website. Okay, you can see we've got a whole heap of articles on here. Now, there's something, this is updated uh, daily. So what we're going to do is each and every one of you want to have a website. Uh, by show of hands, who does not have a website yet of any kind? Okay, so there's a few of you guys. Okay, now those of you who do have a website, this is going to be, this is going to be beneficial for everybody. I spent the last three months looking at a lot of the most successful Facebook fan pages and how they do it. And they use blog type websites. We spent the last three months sitting up, you would have noticed all our websites and our blog type websites like this. And there's a certain format that Facebook looks for for edge ranking. Now up until November last year, edge ranking was a combination of three factors on Facebook. Affinity, time decay, yeah, and uh, affinity, time decay, and what's the other one? and uh, wait, yeah, so now as of November, that is a still a part, that is still part of the algorithm, but it's much more random. And it's interesting because you speak to any apparent expert or guru with social media and no one has the answer anymore. And I've done, I've spent hundreds of hours researching this over uh, this year. So what I did is I did model some of the most successful fan pages and Facebook pages online with one million, two million plus uh, fans and that were monetized fan pages. Now, who would like to make money from their fan page? Who would like to make money from their fan page? If you don't have a blog of some description, if you don't have a blog of some description, you're going to find it near impossible to grow your fan page and to grow your list. So what I want to do is, I'll use it as an example, what I want to do is we want to have daily if possible, or at least weekly articles. And let's, let's, for example, let's just grab the first one here that we look at. This is hopefully it's set up in the right way. Now you might be thinking, I don't have a website, I can't afford a website. I'm going to share with you a resource in a moment on how to get a website for less than 200 bucks. By show of hands, who doesn't have a website that's prepared to pay $200 for a blog site that they can update themselves on a daily basis? Who would be prepared to do that? 
I'm guessing most of you would. Okay, so I'm going to share with you now the basic um, edge ranking on Facebook is um, it's like on Google for the rating on Google. Uh, people pay good money for SEO to get ranked high on Google and because of their algorithms always changing, it's very difficult to, to keep that position. Edge ranking is to Facebook what uh, the, the Google rating is obviously to Google, uh, what you pay SEO for. So to increase your edge ranking of your postings on Facebook, because uh, most of tonight is actually based on Facebook and how to use Facebook to tie all these things in together. And that's why we're, we're going through this first. You need to have, not only do you need your regular email marketing, your three emails a week, your monthly newsletter, your daily videos, you ideally want daily blogs. Now you might be thinking, a daily article, I don't have time to do that. Look, it might be a five or ten minute post with an exercise routine. It might be a five or ten minute post with a smoothie recipe. But you do need a blog that you can update on a daily basis. Those of you that are online personal trainers with us, you all have a daily blog now you can update yourself. Now these are what Facebook require for you to increase your edge ranking from this blog. Okay, so first of all, this picture you'll have your title at the top here. Return uh, journey to fitness um, injury. To be honest, uh, this is an article I wrote, and I think that that um, uh, who wrote this article? I'm not sure who wrote this article, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll agree. If we brainstorm, we can come up with a way to have people look at it and go, "Holy crap! I've got to read that article." That's my suggestion with that. Okay, this is Arj. I'm sure it's a brilliant article. It's a return it's a return journey to fitness. So we have a infographic here. Now you'll notice if we click on this infographic, this picture, and we go to view image info. This is actually really important, something very basic but absolutely critical. Have you noticed on Facebook when sometimes you post an article the picture will be small versus sometimes the picture will be big? Only when the picture is big will the edge ranking be increased and you're going to get three to four times the amount of people viewing it. So this is something that's quite specific uh, for those of you that are into this, spend a bit more time on it. But the dimensions for the pictures on your blog needs to be 850 by 400 pixels. If it's not that, it can be resized, uh, scaled here. Um, now, if a lot of you might be thinking, oh, I don't need to know this, what's important this? It's important to know if you, uh, when you get an IT designer uh, doing a website that they, don't, but they won't know, because you'll have to tell them. 850 to 400 pixels. This is a requirement by Facebook for increased edge ranking of your blog and your article. 850 to 400 pixels, write that down. If you right click it and it doesn't say that, then it's not going to have the increased edge ranking. Then you'll notice that if you read the articles that I do, it'll be in the format of the what, what are the articles about, the why, why you should listen or read with credibility, how, how it works, step one, two, three, four, five, if they go off and use it, it will change their life, and what if they choose to use it. You'll notice that there's these hyperlinks in here, these hyperlinks, now what these hyperlinks are is I request in uh, with my IT designer, depending on the size of the article, to have anywhere from three to twelve hyperlinks. Now these hyperlinks, and again you don't need to know too much of this stuff, but you need to know what to tell your designer to do it. Again, I'm going to give you a really affordable uh, resource soon. Uh, by, the, by the way, who, who finds this interesting? <laughs> by show of hands, who finds this interesting? <laughs> Kaylee's putting her hand up. Now, now these, these hyperlinks here, it's not too important what those keywords are. Um, you don't need to know, the in, you know too much about that. But what you do need to know is you want to link these links, yeah, to parts of your website that are lead captures, which we'll talk about soon. So free ebooks, two free PT sessions, free seven day guest pass, or uh, an online purchase. So we link a lot of these to our programs, which are also at the bottom of these articles here. At, every, at the bottom of every page, we have these four uh, links here, the seven day raw detox, eight week body blitz, beach body meal plan, and 12 week Pilates program. If you, now all these articles, hopefully I haven't haven't tested all of them. Uh, we we post these daily. There's new articles daily. Um, all these articles uh, with the hyperlinks will lead to a lead capture or uh, one of our sales, and we do we do get sales daily from those. And I'm going to show you how to get in front of people. So again, we're still creating the content here, and I know that you might not be able to do this yourself. Again, I'm going to give you an affordable resource soon. But when you get to that point where you create a blog, model from this. And if you look at all the really successful businesses online using social media, this is very similar to what they're doing. Okay. Now you'll notice we've got the article. Um, now what we've done is we've done something which I think is is really great because uh, we've got Arj on here. I don't know if Arj is watching. Yeah, Arj is with us. Awesome, Arj. Um, we, we, we give all of you guys the opportunity 
through our articles and videos and share them on our sites. So we share the Quantum Online Personal Training Affiliates articles and videos on our site and uh, we share all of the uh, personal trainers in a coaching program on the personal trainers of the world site. So we have an opportunity to give all you guys exposure, get you guys in front of uh, hopefully tens and hundreds of thousands of people down the track, add content to our website and we also link it to your, uh, I notice your pages in your website isn't in here. Uh, if you notice or any of you guys do articles for us and you go to it on, on the website, in here you want to have link, you want to have a picture of the author, about the author, there should be a bit more information, and links to the fan page, website and email. You'll notice that it's also interactive here with Facebook. Okay, this website's only been up for about a week or two, um, so there's not a lot of interaction uh, on each article yet. I'm sure that will change. Okay, and you can see the tags in here, so if people click on these, then uh, what will happen is we'll take them to other articles that have the same ta uh, tags, obviously, on our website. And people can interact, so, you know, I could communicate with ta uh, Arj in here about the article, I love it, and so forth. And, and that's essentially how the article, your blog, will look, and you want to be posting these daily. So, my suggestion if you, if you, is either to, you need to have, for Facebook, unique URLs, this is a URL up here, to post on your Facebook every day because the more you post the same URL, the lower the edge ranking and the less likely, uh, the less people that are going to see your post, let alone comment, like and share. And you'll notice even when we go through it in a moment um, that it takes time to get those likes, comments and shares from these articles. So you need to be, you need to be posting a fair bit. So you'll notice this, this stuff is a bit, it takes a bit of time. You know, it takes a couple of hours a day, but it's a small price to pay for you to drastically grow your database. To get to 10 or 20,000 people isn't a big task and it's not that hard. And I'm guessing most of you guys aren't even there. Uh, not even 10 or 20, yeah, those of you are, I imagine 50 or 100,000. The game doesn't, the game is unplayable before 20,000. The game truly begins at 100,000. Now for a lot of you people, a lot of you guys listening, you might think they have some big numbers. I'm here to tell you it's really not. If you embrace all this stuff and you use this stuff, and I know some of this stuff you might not understand yet, have the time to do, have the money to do, but over time you will. Focus on the free stuff, the stuff that you have the time to do. And then as you start making money from business, we'll help you with this. We work with a company called Easy VA to get a virtual assistant. And you can get your own website. $360. $360 will get you your own website very similar to this. And you can post on it, edit it yourself, update it. And you can even have a designer help you out for as little as $7 or $8 an hour. If you want, you can hire a virtual assistant to update it for seven or eight dollars an hour. You can just have someone else post it. So we, so we have a, what do we have? Eight or nine uh, outsourcing team members, telemarketers, virtual assistants, a handful of designers, and they help us with this. Um, obviously, we've got a, you know, we're posting a lot of articles and videos regularly. The hands up who does not have a blog that's prepared to actually set up a blog. It's very different to make it online without a blog of some kind. Awesome. 